Hello everyone. I'm going to explain Unit 6, Part 4 from Speak Out Elementary. Part 4, as you see, is about Carlos Acosta. This lesson is a video lesson, so we'll watch a video about Carlos Acosta and we'll identify who is this person. But before watching the video, I want you to complete some exercises, as you see in our book. We have some preview exercises. Let's complete it. First, read the text and answer the questions. What does Carlos Acosta do and where is he from? I'm going to read the text and we'll find the answers for our questions in the text. The Culture Show. The Culture Show is an arts program which profiles people from the world of theater, music and dance. This program is about Carlos Acosta, a famous dancer. He was born in Havana, but travels the world with his dancing. In the program, he talks about his home country and how important it is to him. He also talks about his family and childhood. So let's look at the questions. What does Carlos Acosta do? As you see from the text, he is a famous dancer and where is he from it is given here he was born in havana so he's from havana let's move to the next task in this task you can tell just your own ideas look at the photos and say how are the photos connected to carlos acosta's life I will tell my mind here. As you see, here is his picture with a football and his dancing performance pictures. So, to my mind, in his childhood, maybe Carlos Acosta wanted to be a football player and then someone changed his mind and he became a very famous dancer. While watching the video, we can check our ideas. So you can check your own ideas while watching the video as I will check my own idea. While watching the video, we have here another exercise B, we need to complete it. Here, we should number the events in Carlos Acosta's life in the correct order. I will read all the events in his life, then we'll watch a video and you should put it in the correct order. First one has been done for you. He was born and grew up in Havana. He was a champion break dancer. He won four dance competitions. He often missed school. He became famous. He saw the Cuban National Ballet. He traveled to Europe. His father sent him to ballet school. So let's watch the video and number the events. Acosta is one of the greatest living ballet dancers. He was the first black principal dancer at Covent Garden in London. He is famous around the world and in his home country of Cuba, he is a national hero. Carlos now travels the world but always sees Cuba as his home. All his family are still there. In Cuba, he isn't a foreigner. He says that in Cuba, a child learns to dance first and then to speak. He talks about the heat and the sea, about dance and music and happiness. Cuba is always going to be my home. In my heart, that's the only country, you know. 
and uh, because that's where all my relatives are, my memories, you know, and this is the only place I was never going to be foreigner. You learn how to dance first and you learn how to speak, you know, like you, uh, it's something that is being passed on through generation and generation, you know, and it's also, you know, the heat and the tropic and the sea and it's, it's almost, uh, that's what uh, it's asking for, dance and music and uh, happiness. Carlos was born in Havana, the youngest of 11 children in a poor family. He often missed school. He was a champion break dancer in the streets, but didn't want to be a professional dancer. When he was nine, his father sent him to ballet school. Carlos hated it. He told his father he wanted to do something else. So I, I did uh, tell him many times that I didn't want it to be, that I wanted to, to do something else, football. You know? But he didn't want to hear it. So I went and, uh, but thank God that he didn't want to hear it because <laughs> thanks to that I'm here now. At ballet school, Carlos wasn't always a good student and didn't want to be a dancer. But when he was 13, Carlos saw the Cuban National Ballet. And he loved it so much that he changed his mind about ballet. He decided to work hard. And three years later, at 16, he traveled to Europe for the first time. That year, he won four major dance competitions and became famous all over the world. Now, he is an international star and he dances in many countries. But he still goes home to Cuba several times a year to visit his family. So, who watched the video? Let's complete our task. 1A, as you see, 1A, 2B, 3B, 4H, 5F, 6G, 7 C, 8 E. This is the right order. And in exercise C, let's read what Acosta says about Cuba. Underline the correct alternatives. I'm going to read the text using the correct alternatives. And then we'll watch a video to check our answers. Cuba is always going to be my home. In my heart, that's the only country, you know, because that's where all my relatives are. My memories, you know, and this is the only place I'm never going to be a foreigner. You learn how to dance first then you learn how to speak, you know, in Cuba. It is something that has been passed on through generation to generation. And it is also, you know, the heat and the tropic and the sea. And it is almost, that's what it is asking for dance and music and happiness. So I'm going to, uh, show you the video again one more time but only the part where Carlos Acosta spoke about Cuba let's watch it one more time okay and music and happiness Cuba is always going to be my home in my heart that's the only country you know and uh, because that's where all my relatives are, my memories, you know, and this is the only place I was never going to be foreigner. You learn how to dance first and you learn how to speak, you know, like you, uh, it's something that is being passed on through generation to generation. You know? And it's also, you know, the heat and the tropic and the sea and it's, it's almost, uh, that's what uh, it's asking for, dance and music and uh, happiness. Carlos was born in... 
so as you see all of our options are correct so let's move to the next page in the next page we have a listening task we're going to listen an interview with Baruti Kaleb. While listening to the interview, you should find the answer for this question. What is one special thing about him? And also, we need to tick the key phrases as you hear. So let's listen and complete exercise C and try to find out the answer for this question. What is one special thing about him? Unit six, recording nine. Thank you for coming on the show, Baruti. We're all very interested to know more about your work. But first of all, let's start from the beginning. Um, where were you born? I was born in Johannesburg in 1962. Can I ask you about your childhood? Yes, of course. I was the fourth child in a very big family. There were 11 of us. My father was a teacher and my mother cleaned houses for rich people. Did you go to school? Yes, I did. Education was very important to my parents. When did you decide to work with poor children? When I was in school, one of my friends lost his parents. He had no family, um, no living grandparents, so he moved to a house for orphans. I visited him, and when I saw his life there, I decided to work with orphans. When did you open your orphanage? We opened it in 1996. We? Yes, my wife and I. We got married in 1990. And who's your hero? <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. It's Mother Teresa. I often think about her words. I can do no great things, only small things with great love. That's very interesting. I have one more question. What's your favorite book? Let me think about that. I like many books, but Long Walk to Freedom is one of my favorites. It's the story of Nelson Mandela's life in his own words. That sounds interesting. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to ask the audience for questions. Are there any questions for Baruti? Yes, you at the back. So as you listened, I think I showed you all the key phrases. I'm going to read them one by one. Can I ask you about your childhood? When did you decide to? That's very interesting. What is your favorite? book here the interviewer answered like this let me think about that are there any questions for so those are the key phrases uh what is one special thing about him i think the special thing about variety Caleb is that he dedicated his life working with poor children working with orphans so if you have another idea from this listening you can tell it as well let's move to the next page next exercise so let, let's read the profile about Baruti and number the paragraph topics in order as you see, a first one has been done for you. A special person, Baruti Kaleb. Baruti Kaleb was born in Johannesburg in 1962. He was the fourth of 11 children. His father was a teacher and his mother worked as a cleaning woman for rich people. This is his early life. Two. When Baruti was at school, one of his friends lost his parents and moved to an orphanage because he had no other family members to live with. Baruti visited his friend at the orphanage and felt very sorry for the children there. So he decided to work with orphans. As you see, this, this is 
a life-changing experience in Barita's life. Three, Barita met his wife Larata in 1987 and they got married in 1990. They opened an orphanage in 1996 near Johannesburg and they still work together. They started with 11 children and now they have 63 children living in the orphanage. As you see, this paragraph is about his work. And four, Barity is a hero for me because he gives his life to helping children. He's an amazing man and I admire his work very much. And this paragraph is why I admire him. So this is a profile. This profile is a template for you be because there is a task for you to complete. You need to write a profile of a special person from exercise 3B. In exercise 3B, we'll listen to an interview. Here, Baruti Kalop mentioned two people, Mother Teresa and Nelson Mandela. You can choose any of them and you can write a profile about one of these people. You need to write about the events in his or her life like this. Special person, you can, you can write, for, for example, Mother Teresa or Nelson Mandela. And you can write a template just like this. Of course, using different life events because their lives are very different. As we completed everything from this page, I want to say that uh, Unit 6 is about the past. And he, now we are going to watch a podcast. In the postcard, people talk about going out and what they did last night. In their speech, they use the past tense. I want you to listen to them very attentively. And after listening to the postcard, I hope that you will be able to use the past tense correctly in your speech. Let's watch it. Harry Potter film, uh, which I enjoyed a lot. 
and afterwards I met some friends for a good drink in town. We went to see uh, Mamma Mia, Prince of Wales Theatre, it was excellent. We went to the theatre, we saw a play by Tom Stockard called Arcadia, which was extremely interesting and we enjoyed it very much. Afterwards we went with friends for a meal, we had a Spanish tapas type meal which was extremely enjoyable. Um, last night I went to um, Westfield Shopping Centre, which is in the west of London, and I enjoyed a delicious meal there. Last night I went to a friend of mine's house, which is in South London, and um, we went out and went to a fish and chip shop, bought some fish and chips and went home and had that with a beer in front of the television. So I hope as you watch the video, you'll be able to use the past tense in your speech from now on. This is the end of my lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for attention.